Many people find Zhao to be the hardest boss in the game, and I agree with them, so hopefully this strategy will help you guys get through it a lot easier. All this is before the reception. I went to the purple tier, took on an attribute of Miu's powers, battle ready and the strongest. Yeah, we're doing Miyunga strategies. Here's the decks. And I'm using no counter dice for this, basically. Just because Miyunga use prowess doesn't work with um, counter dice. The rest of the people can be anything, but the main thing is you need to use them with Meow Meow, Oink Oink, Snipe, Blind Fire, and I improved did improv drumming. But all these guys are just going to be here for the first round. After that, they're kind of useless. And we're just going to be soloing with the purple tier on phase two. And we're using Esots for it because... Guns. Okay, so starting off the fight. One, two. Uh, we're going to go directly into guard stance. And we're just going to hold out until we get to late game. Uh, I'm going to switch that around. Our main goal is going to be kill Zhao first. I know R5, he killed Miris first. Miris is the easier person to kill. But Zhao has a mass attack which you can't get over. It's rather annoying. So what I do instead is kill Zhao first. And everyone's just going to focus fire her immediately. While we're doing this, we're going to try and keep the purple tier as healthy as possible. Since we don't have any recovery, we're going to get ready for the next phase. We're going to try and max out the emotion level to 4, 4.5, or 5 before we go on to the next phase. And we're going to ignore Miras, because Miras is a chump. Well, he, he's better to do. Okay. And now we're just going to try and kill Zhao before turn 4. As soon as turn 4 happens, that's when she gets really strong. You just want to beat that mass attack, that's the main thing. I have no clue why it's super close now, but... It's probably one of my mods, but oh well. Okay, so Zhao is about halfway dead. At 100 HP, she will go down. Okay, Miras is going to do further emotion. And now we get to the point where Miras can target anyone else except for Purple Tear. So in this case, if I want to get emotion coins, now's the time to do it. And I'm just going to spam Sturdy Defense against Zhao. And we just ignore all this damage. Uh, I should probably deal with the damage. I'll have one person take off some of the pressure. Get rid of the focus fire. We don't need that. But everyone else here will not be moving on to the next reception except for the purple tier. Main thing... Main thing for that. And all I'm trying to do is just keep her nice and healthy now. And I'm constantly trying to make sure the purple tier is clashing with Zhao. Because we need to get those emotion points from her. Small little glitch with Zhao though, which is why this R5 didn't do it. Is um... If you do get her down to a certain amount of HP, she can come back into a fight. So if you stop it at 101, I think, she'll come back for a turn. Uh, we're going to start off with Request. Request will double all the key pages received. And for Zhao, we want that. And now Zhao's going to die this turn. So now we're going to try and get as much emotion points as possible. Uh, 
faint. Everyone else can just focus fire. Shout down now. Uh, do I have to redirect that? Yeah, I will. Okay, those two for mirrors. That'll give me an emotion level up there. And Jao's dead now. Or should be dead. Okay, that's her dead now. And now we're just going for positive emotion coins. Uh, you can either go Lament or Echidage of Pad. You can do any of the three, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for this, I'm just going to do Lament. Okay, so Yisad's at three now. I'm going to let Flaming Dragon Fist go elsewhere. We're just going to get nice and tanky. Everyone else is just going to stand around and do nothing now. So I'm not going to get an emotion level this turn. We're just going to play it cool. Okay, Mirrors is going to try and go for a kill. That's fine by me. Do this first. This. I might be able to redirect. No, I don't. So she's dead. I'm going at negative emotion points. Oh well. Actually, I can just let him go through with it. Yeah, just let him go through. More dust. And More I'm using ashes. The oh, well. More disappointment. Um. Uh, for me, I'm. We'll take clean. Any of them is good now. Solemn Lament. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you don't get it early enough. We're going to get it eventually. Now we're just going to kill her here. We're going to go into slashing. And since she's... Bleh, not she. He's dead this turn. I'm just going to go all in. I'll probably do this. Right now, I'm trying to avoid getting emotion level up here. Because... Next turn, I do want to put the request mark on him. Uh, not him, uh, ship. And I gain... I'm halfway there. Okay, so this is the idea. If you get to emotion level 5, don't worry. You'll just change it up a bit. So now Zhao will be here. Main thing you have to worry about is her power null. Power null is the main problem with this fight, and I think that's why everyone struggles with it, on top of all the fire. So what we're doing is getting rid of everyone else. We're only going to take Yisad in here, and he's on full HP, so he's going to win. So what we're going to do is trigger emotion level 5 the following turn. And that turn, we're not going to suffer, <laughs> suffer power null, we're going to get all our abnormality pages, and we're going to win. So, sorry. No Millie. I'll put music in the background. So, all we're going to do in this scene is just try and hit Xiao one time. And since... I'm at a lower emotion level, it kind of doesn't matter. I just need wit lose some clashes, so... I got the worst one for this. You should be in another stance. If it doesn't happen, just deal with it. Now we're here at emotion level 5. Take Chain Wrath, which I find is dumb, but anyway. Harmony, Dark Flame. Dark Flame's the big one. And doesn't matter about the rest. And now Xiao's going to die, because now we have power available. And we're going to look for reverse scale, and we're going to focus everything onto it. We're going to use red notes, 
and then I'm going to use energy cycle here. Main reason why we're using the abilities first is so we lose all our light, then energy cycle will restore it. Now we're just going to stagger her right here. We're pretty close to staggering. It's going to be pretty close to a shot. Now I'm just going to use energy cycles. Because we're under the effect of power null. And I'm going to throw a trace of fume on here so I'll recover on this side. If I... I should have switched the order around a bit to get the smoke on. It doesn't really matter. And she's dead here. Now with request, we're going to double all, all of our pages. So normally this would have been five pages resolved. Instead we got seven, which makes farming a whole lot easier. I got the worst case scenario. I started off in blunt stance for it. It's, if you want even more power, just stay in your original stance and then switch. Because you want to try and switch on the power when power null isn't available. If this helped, happy for you and good luck for the rest of the fight. If you do need help with this, uh, purple tier, red miss, make sure she's unattributed so you can transfer the passives and use power assist right here. Personally, it's easy to do. You shouldn't have too much problems with it and hopefully this helped you out.